Hey guys! I am so excited we're getting ready to start this challenge group. By now, most of you have gotten your box. Probably not, maybe not, maybe this box, but it's probably like a more of a brown box. But you've gotten your box, and if you haven't gotten it, it's coming really soon. And the best thing we need to do is we need to tear open this box, and we need to dig into the contents and see what's in there. Um, a lot of times we just skip past all the books and we just go right into the workout and we miss the meat of what is this whole workout is about. So the first thing I want you to do when you get your box is I want you to find the pamphlet that says start here. And inside this pamphlet we're going to find the workout schedule. You're going to find a list of all the workouts. You're also going to have your measurements and it's really important that we take our measurements and we record our before and our afters because sometimes the scale doesn't always tell us exactly what we want to know and if we can kind of keep track of inches that we're losing then even if the scale doesn't move we know that we're on the right track okay. so then the next piece of the most important part of this book is this program is taking out the containers and taking a look at what all of these containers mean. So I love them because they're just, they're very really stackable. All right, so we have all these awesome containers. But what do they all mean and what can fit into each one of them? So you have this great nutrition guide. You have to open it up. It has a wealth of knowledge. This is going to be your Bible for the next 21 days. Okay, so... In the beginning, the first thing you want to do is you want to take a look at the get started tips. You want to figure out this calculation to determine how many containers you need for the day. All right. So once you figure this out, now we can start planning our meals. All right. Um, I feel like the best way to plan your meals is to start with dinner and work your way backwards. Okay. That way you can kind of use the number of containers you need for dinner and then you can just kind of portion it out the rest of the day. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check out what's inside each container. So each container has a page of ingredients, of foods that are listed that are okay to eat. Okay. One of the really important things to keep in mind is that whatever is listed at the top of the list this is going to be your most nutrient dense food to choose from. The food items that are listed down at the bottom are okay, but they might not yield the best results. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at the list. Um, another awesome place to check in this book that you want to check out are the free foods. So what can you have that doesn't count against you? Um, you can use different types of recipes from the water bar. So they talk about like what you can add to um, make your water a little bit tastier. You also can um, lemon and lime juice, vinegar, mustard, different herbs, um, hot sauce. All of those like things that are listed are great ways to change up your meals and change up the flavor of what you're eating. Um, you'll also see a list of treats that you can have and how to measure them out and you're allowed to have three treats a week which in the 21 day fix program. In the extreme program there's slightly different guidelines but the book and everything that comes with it is similar. All right, and then finally, you're gonna find a list of recipes that you can pull from if you're just trying to figure out you know, what, what's something simple I can make? There's some great recipes. There's some shake recipes in here. There's also, there's different types of salad dressings that you can use. Um, and it, what I love about these recipes is it tells you what containers you're using so you can mark it off on your sheet. And then there's also the Shakeology recipes, which are in here. And my favorite 21 Day Fix Shakeology recipe is chocolate with water, a quarter banana and two teaspoons of peanut butter because it basically it counts as a red and two teaspoons of, of fat. Um, it doesn't count against my fruit. Um, and then at the end of the book, you're going to see how to survive past the 21 days. So once you've reached your goal, so 
Maybe after the first 21 days, you still need to keep going because you're not where you want to be. So you keep going. But once you've finally stabilized and you've reached your goal, then you can kind of look and see what can we do next. So once you've kind of taken the day to go through this book and to plan everything out, you want to take a look at your workouts. So that's your next CD. You're going to have all your workouts on these two simple CDs. You want to take a look at your workout plan, which is in the first um, guide, and map it out. Put it on your calendar. You know, the 21-day fix is based on seven days a week of working out, but sometimes that doesn't fit into your schedule. I will be honest, I can't always get seven days of working out in. Um, if you're able to make that commitment, that's awesome. But if you can only do five days a week, then do five days a week and piece it where it fits. Um, I really like to do mine Monday through Friday, so I have my weekends kind of free, and I don't have to stress about it. I can just do things with my family. But um, if you have heavy days during the week where you might have to go into work really early or you have busy things in the evening, then maybe the weekends are better days to get your workouts in. And then you have two days during the week where you can kind of just take it off. And I would just rotate through. So if you have to skip a day, I would just get to the next. I wouldn't skip a workout. I would just move to the next workout. So just keep in the same routine um, with with whatever's on the schedule. All right, so make sure you dig into your box, you pull everything out, you take a look at it, you start looking at your recipes, you start getting some ideas. Another great place to check is Pinterest. Tons of 21 day fix recipes on Pinterest. Um, there's also a 21 day fix app that you can download for your phone so you can kind of help keep track of what um, it tells you what your workout is for the day. It also tells you you can put in how many cal um, containers you need and it'll help you keep track of your containers. All right, I'm super excited for you guys. We have a week to kind of get prepped and ready and we're starting on Monday. Have a wonderful week. Goodbye.